Hey everyone, Sean Stevenson here, author of the Throne series. The time has finally come where I'm reviewing the last book in the Exitorn Adventures. Book number six, Brill and the Puff Fire Volcano by Peggy Downing. Now this book series, I chanced upon this book series when I was in Alabama near Gulf Shores and there was a little bookstore there called Foley Book Exchange and I went in and I saw this book was the one I saw and I was like, what are those? I've never seen these before. They look like they're from the 1980s. It's like a fantasy series. What are these all about? And so I picked up this one and another one, and I quickly discovered that this series is very hard to find. And some of the books in the series go for a lot of money online. I ended up tracking down the whole series, and so I actually have all the books in the series now. And I'm so excited about that because some of them are very difficult to get. So I was like watching eBay to see when they would come out, and so I found them. So I was very excited to read this series. Now, I read this series so fast. I basically read them back to back to back to back because I couldn't stop reading. I just wanted to know what happened next in the next book. These books are kind of in the vein of Chronicles of Pradane or Chronicles of Narnia or Archives of Anthropos. Just these cozy fantasy medieval series from like the 80s and earlier. Also, Adam of the Road is another good comp title to this one. You have a lot of situations where there's just a very medieval, very cozy fantasy world with a few fantastical elements here and there, but it's not in a world where you're thinking, what is that creature? What's that creature? What's that creature? So it introduces things very well and in a really easy to digest way. So this is the finale of the series. And I kept thinking when I was going into this book, I thought, okay, how is Peggy Downing going to wrap up this series? We have a character named Brill who he is taken in the first book to be Prince Groster's like pretty much best friend and he's forced to be the prince's best friend. But if the prince doesn't like him, the prince can have him thrown to the Dragators, these like dragon alligator hybrid animals that live in the moat around the castle. And they will, because I'm going to tell you right now, in that first book, people get thrown to the Dracators. This series is not afraid to go there and is not afraid to have it be very, very intense, even though I would still classify it as cozy. So in this book, Brill is working for the King of Exitor now. Prince Groster is no longer a prince. He's actually now becoming a monk, which I just have to say... Prince Groster has one of the best character story arcs I think I've read oh, that develops over the course of a series. His arc from the first book to where he is in this book is so well done and so great to read. I just kept thinking, oh, Peggy Downing, you know what you're doing. Like, this is so, so great the way you're setting this up and working with this character. So Brill is sent by the king to the kingdom of Brislan because they have gotten a message that the queen who is related to the king's family has been kidnapped by an evil king trying to take over the throne. So Brill is sent to try and negotiate a peace treaty or some kind of a situation where they can get the queen released and Groster goes with him. While they are on their journey, they encounter a volcano. And I just gotta say, the volcano eruption sequence was terrifying. I kept thinking, oh my goodness, this is so scary. And I realized something. Peggy Downing is from the Seattle, Washington area. And she wrote this book after Mount St. Helens in Washington exploded back in, I believe it was in the early 1980s. So she would have had firsthand experience of a volcano explosion. There was ash that drifted around for miles and miles and miles, even up to Seattle, and it was everywhere. So her description of this volcano eruption is so well done. The ashes that are everywhere, the like landscape that has completely changed and you can't tell what is what anymore. It is so terrifying, so scary, and Brill, I'm just gonna say, you do not know what is going to happen to him in this book. You don't know what's going to happen to so many of the characters because the 
danger's very, very real here. And I will say this book kept me on my toes the entire time. I was wondering what's going to happen. There's so much action, so many interesting things happening. And the thing I loved about this book is that it was so different from the previous entries in the series. This series sometimes had a couple of things that were kind of the same between a couple of books. So there were a couple times I thought, oh, you really got to change it up because you can't do that again. You've done it like twice, so you got to switch it up. And I will say Peggy Downing switches it up. This one, it's totally different. So many different things happening and it's so well done. Now I got to say, Segra, who is the other main character of this series, it's really Brill and Segra's series. Both of them are main characters here. She is feels a tiny bit sidelined in this last book, but not in a way that thought, oh, we're just getting her out of here because we don't know what to do with her. She has a storyline that's going on that's very important, and she's still Segra. If you've watched any of my other reviews of this this book series, you will know that Segra is a very take the bull by the reins kind of character, and she definitely has a lot of agency and continues to have a lot of agency here. Now, I gotta say, the ending of this book, I'm not gonna spoil it because this is a spoiler-free review, but the ending of this book made me cry. I cried at the end of this book because it was so beautiful, so well done. I loved it so much. There were so many payoffs, so many moments where you're like, oh, that's what I hoped would happen. And I got to see it and it was so much better than I even thought it would be. This book really delivers on so many promises from earlier in the series, and I loved that so, so much. So, if you're looking for a cozy medieval fantasy series, the Exitorn Adventures are very hard to find. <laughs> They're very, very difficult to find, but if you can find them, you should definitely read this series. If you like medieval cozy fantasy, Oh, this is going to be right up your alley. The characters are so well done. It's so well written. The action's a lot of fun. There's great mystery to many of these books. And they're just... It's one of my favorite series. One of my favorite series of all time. I enjoyed it so much. I will definitely reread these one day because I know that I just enjoyed the experience of reading them so much. The journey was a lot of fun and was so heartwarming and just pulled on my heartstrings too at the very end of this series, and I loved it so, so much. So it's probably not a surprise that I give Brill and the Puff Fire Volcano five out of five stars. This book was just so well done. I enjoyed it so much. Definitely check out this series if you like medieval cozy fantasy. And until next time, everybody, keep reading. Bye!